right, Glad Rap Channel, you're with the OG of boxing, uh, uh, Ellie Setback. Reporting, Glad Rap. I'm glad to be rapping with Glad Rap. It's such an honor to meet you in person, man. Because you know, you. inspired by all the work that you do, and you know, it's really information. You really learn a lot from your your, your, you. your channel. How long have you been doing it for? I've uh, been covering boxing since 2009. I started with Manny Pacquiao before he fought De La Hoya. Yeah. And from there, just boxing took over my life. And, and, and do you think uh, you know the Floyd, Floyd Mayweather, and Manny Pacquiao sort of contributed to to, to, this, to your success as well? Like just because, yeah, because the hype was unreal, right? Everybody called me a pack tard when I started covering boxing. Because yeah, yeah. all I was covering boxing, Pacquiao, Pacquiao, Pacquiao. But there's not one fighter that is the sport. The sport is much bigger than one fighter. Yeah, yeah. Mayweather is the face of boxing, but he eventually is now retired. Exactly. So now we have the Canelos, the Triple G, Lomachenko, Mikey Garcia. It evolves nonstop. So. Starting to cover Robert Garcia and his fighters really helped me. And also, have access, yeah, yeah. my Dana, Brandon Rios, Mikey, Robert, the characters, Pajaro, the guy that drinks all the time, Bon Bon. Sometimes people like like Samson from Goose and Jim. Have you ever watched him? Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. And the quick, quick, quick. So all these personalities, everything's around so meeting Justin Bieber. Yeah, everything yeah. connected to boxing. So a lot of celebrities of many big people in Hollywood, whether they're athletes or entertainers, or rappers. Boxing was brings everyone together. Yeah. That's the nucleus. So, what contributes to the success? Just working every day and doing, not taking a break. But it just shows you, you don't need to be a big television company with a massive budget, with a big cameraman, a sound person. You can just do this with, with a handy cam, right? It's There's an old saying, it's better to be a small and effective army than a big and clumsy one. Yeah, yeah. When I compete, I look at the network as my competitors, yeah. not YouTube channels. I look at Showtimes and HBO. That's who I want to compete with. I don't want to compete with someone that's not... It's gonna sound really like arrogant, but I don't want to compete someone who's smaller than me. I want to yeah. compete with people who are bigger than me. Yeah, yeah. But when they come to shoot a series, a twenty-four-seven or anything amazing, they have five producers, five cameras, three sound. It's very clumsy, very slow. Where me with one camera, I'm already in and out. I'm already gone by the time they don't, I haven't posted one piece. I already posted ninety videos. Yeah, yeah. So the key is for me, it's just to keep grinding keep going and I enjoy it every day. I go to five, six different gyms. I don't know in New Zealand how many gyms do you have near your house? Uh-huh. I mean, there's a couple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So every day I go to a gym and every day is fun because you never know who you're going to meet. I never, one time I walk in a gym, I see Mr. T. Next day I walk in, I see an NBA superstar. Next day I walk in, I see a major singer, a major rapper. And, and not including all the boxing champions, the stars, the Nate Diaz's, the Nick Diaz. Yeah. The McGregor's. Yeah, I know. And Nate Diaz, you know, he talks to you. You know, he gives you some great little insights. You know, but uh, do you? How do you do it? Like, I know you're a massive fan of the sport, but do you need to even write questions at this stage? Like, do you prepare? If I did prepare, if I did write questions, it's a it's a double edged sword. It's better to be prepared. You never want to show up and not knowing who you're talking to because it's embarrassing. How am I going to ask someone about who he's fighting when I don't know who he fought in the past? Exactly. But at the same time, you have to be a good listener. Mm -hmm. And you have to, for me, when I listen to someone, then I know how to ask the following questions. So even if I have questions prepared, and you give me a great answer, and I go to my list, okay, so what time are you going to have lunch? And I'm missing the whole thing. You just told me that you're, you sparred Pacquiao and knocked him out. Yeah, or yeah. you sparred Mayweather and he knocked you out. Whatever the case may be. Yeah, you just sidestep it. So you, don't want, you want to be liquid. You don't want to be too solid. Because sometimes... I have a lot of experience in television. It's yeah, yeah. to be a producer that has their show blocked in and there's breaking news and they don't want to touch their show because they're so structured. You have to be very liquid, you have to be very fluid. So if things change or you're interviewing someone and you listen and they're telling you a really compelling story, you have to stick with it. Forget what you wanted to ask. Do you get worried if the question's not smart enough or on par with some of the other best, you know? Like, do, do you worry about that at all? Or you just, you know, what I mean? just, just have a conversation? I yeah. just have a conversation. Yeah. When you do something every day, now a lot of media and boxing just cover the fights January, March, September, December. Yeah. But when you do it every day, you're going to run out of topics because you can't ask every day. So you're fighting Robert Easter this week, you're fighting Bruno. So you have to keep a very casual conversation. And you'll, if someone feels comfortable with you, they'll open up. So there's a method to the madness. It's everyday interviewing. Because I could take a break and just upload videos once a week. Yeah, yeah. But I want to upload videos every day. I want people who love boxing to come to my page. Yeah, and it's yeah. happening. It's working. Yeah. If you love the NBA, you go to NBA.com. You love baseball, MLB.com. You love rugby. I'm sure there's a rugby website in, in New Zealand that's They're the up. biggest one. Yeah. But if you love boxing, where do you go every day, every day, every day to get new videos? So for me, I want you to go to ES News. Yeah. Because every day I'm going to guarantee a gang of new videos with new faces, new interviews. And with you, everybody's a star, right? There's not someone that's, that cannot be on your channel because he's not big enough. 
everyone gets a shot on ES. It's funny. I'll tell you something funny. So the other kid, the other day, I'm gonna see if I can find it, but this kid hits me up on IG and he says, how much do you charge for posting? I said, what do you mean charge? He goes, yeah, a lot of other websites charge fighters. I was like, I did a post. If you want to be on ES News, shoot me a link, esnewsboxing at yahoo.com. I'll post your video. You don't need to pay me. The people who have the least money are boxers, the yeah. least when they're starting out. They're not Mayweathers. They're not making the, the Broner money. Why are people charging them? So everybody, I know how much they sacrifice. I'm in the gyms. Many times fighters have a job, maybe two jobs, maybe a kid at home, and they're still boxing. So why not help them? I can give them a little exposure. Maybe that will help change their life. Okay. So why not do it? And I'm not going to take their money. I just want an interview. Yeah. So I know other reporters for a fact that went to people who I know might win a gold medal 2020 in Japan yeah. that told these kids, you're not big enough for my channel. That's crazy. There's always two minutes of my life for someone. Right now I'm doing an interview with you. Yeah. I didn't say, oh, I'm too big. Yeah. I don't, Ronda Rousey once told me she only does interviews with networks. Yeah, I, know. I started laughing. I'm almost pushing 600 million views. Yeah. The networks don't get the views right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta be cool. Man, I thought that was incredibly disrespectful how they didn't mention okay. the gym. Man. Nah, it's okay. Yeah. Like, they already got punished. All their yeah. fighters get knocked out. What do you want? It's not my fault. So, so the thing is, you, you hang with so many people. Other people you don't get along. Like, you know, some. There's a, look, you is, is it hard to get along with everyone? Like, how do you. You know what I mean? You can't have the person that. that There's always gonna be someone that doesn't like you yeah. because you spend too much time at that gym, or you, you. If you interview me and you ask me who wins Jeff Horn or Crawford, and I say Crawford, yeah. Jeff Horn might be mad at me. And yeah. if not Jeff Horn, his trainer, his manager, his team, yeah. his PR guy. There's always someone you may offend. Yeah, but you might be a fan of them, but they don't like you. You know what I mean? So it's, is that is that is that a, is that a hot thing to go too often. No. In okay. ten years, maybe I've had one or two run-ins. Legit. Okay. There's some people maybe a misunderstanding or a third party may start talking smack. But in the big picture, I've been very fortunate that I've posted almost 70,000 videos. You don't get to 70,000 videos if you don't get along with people. Yeah. It's not just me sitting in my garage talking boxing. I'm actually in gyms. I've been to China three times. I've been to Germany. I've been to Israel. I've been to Ukraine. I've been to Azerbaijan, Mexico. Boxing has taken me all over the world. Yeah. I've been to the Olympics 2020 in London for six weeks to cover sports. Yeah, yeah. Going places and just getting interviews, you meet new people, you make friends. Yeah. I'm rarely going to go into a gym and just, for me, a relationship is more important than views. Okay, okay. It's more important to have a good relationship with people because it's the long run. I know I can interview anyone, be very cut at like TMZ and just ask them the craziest stuff. Okay. But they'll never want to see me again. Give them time. I don't need to, look, Broner in his last fight, excuse me, I'm the only one to ask him about the Takashi beef. Okay. Nobody else had the balls and nobody else wanted to. They felt uncomfortable. Six nine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying for me, we're in a point where I could ask him that and he'll give me a legit answer. If I never saw him, I never talked to him, I can't ask that. Because he may just brush me off. Got it, got it. So there's a way of, to ask even the tough questions. There's a way that you approach it. But the key is to always be respectful and always think twice before you post. Watch it. You know what I mean? If, yeah. you're, a little, if you're hesitant and in doubt, keep out. But it, sometimes I'm hesitant on my videos, and maybe I'm like, you know, let me wait a day or two before yeah. I post it. Let me see, because if I post it, and I'm the biggest, or I'm one of the biggest, and I'm going to start a whole war between two camps. Let someone else post it first, I'll post it second. I'm yeah. still going to get more views than them, but they're not going to blame me for being the shit starter, quote unquote. And it happens a lot, like, oh, why did he start his shit? No. If you give me an interview, and you tell me that you don't like a certain fighter or how he fights, no, I'm not egging you on. You're no. telling me how you, what you believe. Exactly, yeah. And sometimes people do get mad at the messenger. Okay. That's where sometimes things get confusing. But in the big picture, life is great. I couldn't be happier. Do you get starstruck? But like, if I see Floyd, right, I'm going to freak out, right? My, the thought, my thought pattern is not going to be straightforward. How do you get that? How Never you, get starstruck you in my life, ever. So and you see Manny and nothing. It just no, doesn't affect you. That's incredible. I came from the basketball world. And I met Shaquille O'Neal. I met Kobe when he was 17. Yeah, yeah. I met... You don't get starstruck because, especially not in boxing, because you're around them all the time and you're around the gym and you're around. It's the opposite. Sometimes I have to hold back, not to be disrespectful, or, or make a joke that may be offensive, because not everybody gets my sense of humor. Cool. If you know me, you know I'm just joking. But if you don't know me and you make a joke, it may sound a little off. Yeah, yeah. So I need to like hold back. But no, no starstruck because at this point, I can't say I've I've had a chance to film everybody. I never interviewed Ali, but I filmed him. Yeah. His 70th birthday, his 72nd birthday, I was recording it. He wasn't in a position to really talk, he smiled. But I'm saying, anyone from Ali on, I've interviewed, I've met, so it's, it's hard to, out, you know what I mean, to outdo that. Yeah. 
And now I meet a lot of fighters that have come up from the amateurs or want to know, and now they're stars or become stars. But I've seen them grow up, so you, you don't get starstruck. Who would who I get starstruck? I don't know. I can't say anyone. So there's no norms. It's just it's just a conversation. That's just it. Just one on one. I met I met Rocky Stallone. Uh, I met Steven Spielberg. I met uh, Schwarzenegger. They're just people. And like I said, I say messed up things to them. Yeah. Stallone was really short. Yeah, yeah. I think I may have asked him like how are the platforms on his shoes. Something retarded, you yeah, know. But yeah, yeah. that's who, what I do. Got it. Got it. Like I said, who's the guy from uh, Snakes on a Plane? Uh, Samuel Jackson. I asked him, yeah. and we were there chilling. And all of a sudden, I think of my thing, and I start yelling. Dude, motherfucking snakes on a motherfucking plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he wasn't laughing because I'm sure he hears it all the time. But I thought it was funny. Yeah. No, but you never know because that could trigger a conversation, right? That's just that's just a basis for starting a conversation, right? It doesn't Look, all have to be smart. Mel Gibson. Yeah. I saw Mel Gibson at an event recently, and everybody was scared of him. Yeah, me too, hundred percent. Yeah. No, I was, and then, but I started talking to him about MMA and Nate Diaz and McGregor, and he walked away, heard me, came back and talked to me. Whoa! So that's cool because people just want to be. Justin Bieber walks in the gym. The door's unlocked. Goose, no security. Goose yeah, Gucci yeah. gym. Gym full of kids and he's training. That's Justin Bieber, maybe the biggest superstar on the planet, right? Yeah. He just wants to be normal. He doesn't want people running up to him and take a picture or an autograph or he just wants to feel normal in the gym. So if you talk to him like a normal person, you'll get the same. Later on, after two, three, four times, let's do an interview. You're not gonna, I'm not gonna bum rush him the first time. But it's a lot of fun, boxing. I could have covered any sport on the planet basketball, MMA, football, soccer. I could have covered politics, entertainment. There's nothing like covering boxing. It's a small fishbowl of a world and everybody's a big shark in it, but I'm having fun and it's a lot of, it's great. It's a, a lot of satisfaction. The boxing fans are much more passionate than NBA fans. And the energy level, how do you keep that up? How do you put out all these, but how do you stay on the grind for so long? Don't sleep. I sleep two hours a night. That's why right now... Are you serious? Yeah. I've been doing that for years. It may not no, be no, no, wait, Not two hours. Let's be realistic, right? Probably four hours. Okay. My minimum used to be one and a half. Then I couldn't work, so I moved it up to two, two and a half. That's it? That's it. Is that enough for you to have your for your day? Obviously it is. Now... Uh, some days it does catch up with you, yeah, yeah. and one day you'll just knock out for nine hours. But on the daily grind, if you just keep going, 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 many times people ask me, are you on cocaine? Do you drink Red Bulls? Uh, you look like crap. No, I'm just, I don't sleep because shooting the videos, are like you shooting now a video? I don't know if we're 10 minutes in about. Uh, 12 minutes, yeah, 12 yeah, minutes. yeah. I'm pretty yeah, good at my timing. Yeah, yeah. 10 minutes in, you still have to edit it. You may have to clean it up. I don't yeah. know if you can use bad language in your videos or not. I don't know how you do things. But let's say, okay, you're going to edit it maybe two or three parts, maybe one part. The fun part is doing the interview. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, hundred percent. Now you do one video is great, but I already I came to Vegas maybe an hour ago. I already yeah. shot 40, 50 videos. I still have to go back, watch them, and upload them. Can't be sloppy. Yeah. That's where the time consuming comes in. You do that yourself? Yeah. I have a lot of people who help me. I thought you had a team that. You know, I do have a lot of team, but they do their own stuff. I they handle their stuff. I handle my stuff. Go to, go to. So I'm waiting for videos to come in from LA. Uh, from LA. Uh, here, I already got some videos coming in from LA right now. So there's a network of people just sending them. Okay. Yeah, there's a network of people, and and uh, we're gonna start grinding right now as we're doing this interview. I'm gonna start. Don't disrespect, but we gotta post these videos. No worries. Just just give me some advice, Ellie. Just yes. and that's it. That's the last question okay. I have for you. Thanks for taking the time to even no, talk to course. me. You're a legend in the game. I appreciate it. Yeah. What's, what's the what's the question? Uh, just. Give me some advice on how on how how to how to how to stay stay on the grind, stay on the hustle, okay. and keep doing what you the do. Key, like, become someone like you, baby. Okay, first of all, be humble at all times. I don't care how successful you get. Or I interviewed a guy once who went to jail for 27 years for a crime he didn't commit. Yeah, yeah. He was a a, a Mexican kid, shaved head, mustache, 17 years old, watching TV with his dad. The cops framed him just because he looked like a gang member. So he went to jail for 27 years. 27 years later, the cops admitted that they lied. So I asked them, how do you stay sane 27 years knowing that you didn't do the crime? Like you were innocent, he was, free. He only gets $100,000 per year for being in jail, but it's not worth freedom, it's nothing. 27 years, whole life is gone. He said, you always keep it at room temperature 72 degrees. You don't get too high when it's great, you don't get too low when it's bad. Okay. You're gonna go through periods where it's terrible. Your day's not working, the camera's broken, personal life, whatever you're going through. Keep it room temperature. You may go get days where you get the crazy exclusives and the whole world is eating off your videos. Keep it cool. Uh, if someone's disrespectful, be humble. Don't be combative. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So focus on your job. Don't focus on what other people are doing. Stay grinded. 
grinding, and stay on top of your industry. Know the news. So when you go somewhere, you get the opportunity to interview someone, you know kind of what to ask. You never want to show up to have an opportunity to interview a Floyd and not know what to ask him. Yeah. Because I've seen it happen to reporters. And yeah. I'm like, if, you know what I mean? Like, you have to just know how to roll with it. So the key is, look, you're doing great. You're, you're in a country where you could be the face of boxing for your country. But it's up to you how much you grind and how much you put into it. And, and if you go serious about it, look, most people in boxing have a job. So you can still have a job and still cover boxing. It doesn't contradict itself. You just have to dedicate your four or five hours a day to your hobby, your passion. It may turn into a full-time job, a TV network may hire you, or a newspaper, but you have to put in the work, it's not gonna just happen. And covering boxing once every four months is great, but it's not gonna change your life. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, stay tuned. Facebook.com, I'm Elias back reporting. Elia, uh, you know, not many people say this, but you know, you've sort of inspired me, so I just wanna let you know, you know? Oh, uh, thanks, yeah, man, so I thank hear you. it all the time, but here's yeah. the funny part. Unlike other people, you are very cool, and very appreciative, because, a lot of people who tell me in the beginning that I inspired them later go on and talk smack and make up stories. Nah, nah, happens I'll, a lot. I'll admit it. I'll admit it straight away. Nah, you know? thanks, and, Thank uh, you. and keep up the good work.